like uh, calling and texting only data it's uh, six point five dollars uh, per month home internet i had uh, wi-fi in my honestly cost of living in the philippines is very very cheap to compare with here in the united kingdom hi guys welcome back to my channel how you are doing i hope you guys are doing great yes your girl is back with another interesting video i know you are going to love to watch in today's video i'm going to be reacting on this particular video minimum cost of living in the philippines for a foreigner this video is going to be an interesting one so it might interest you to watch it to the end but before i proceed with this video if you you're watching me right now you need to this platform you love my reaction videos you want to see more coming from the philippines hit that subscribe button let's become one big family don't forget to click the bell icon so you don't get to miss out on amazing videos like this so without wasting much of a time let's dive into this video watch it together and react on it at the end of it we'll find out minimum cost of living in the philippines for foreigner who is planning to relocate to the philippines let's dive into the video watch it together and react on it okay is the minimum cost of living in the Philippines for a foreigner? In this video, my friend Alex will share with us his cost of living in the Philippines per month based on a six-month average. And his total budget is under $700 per month. He will give us a tour of Dumaguete, show us examples of where he eats, what he does for entertainment, and even share his experience with the medical system. My friend Alex is picking me up on his motorbike. He's gonna show me around to a few places that he thinks are good values. There he is, right there. Hop in. So probably the easiest way to get around town here is on a motorbike. Alex has bought his motorbike, so that's not a ongoing expense. If you're taking the trikes, then you pay per trip. And what does that usually cost? Uh, about uh, 20 pesos uh, like from uh, downtown and if oh. you need to uh, take a tricycle at night it will cost more about 80 maybe 60 pesos because it will be like a private uh, tricycle yeah. we're gonna go to a, a good place to eat yeah. here yeah food net it's one of the cheapest place but at the same time it's a good food and you can see food before buying yeah right so yeah. we're gonna go see what it looks like and uh, see how much it costs okay, we got some vegetables here some pizza yeah. chili chicken oh that's good here's what we got you got fried chicken with gravy and three rice i got one rice some vegetables spicy pork Sweet and sour chicken. All of that uh, less than six dollars. Yeah, about five point five dollars. Yeah, that's for boss. So three hundred and ten peso meal for two people. Yeah. Okay, where are we at now? Uh, we in a Siliman Clinic uh, Hospital. It's uh, one of the most famous hospital in our area. I was here three times. Uh, first time I had problem with my ear after diving and it cost uh, for visit doctor and uh, have uh, medical uh, prescriptions yeah uh, about um, 1300 pesos uh, it's uh, 25 dollars maybe yeah another day i was there because of some bug or spider bite me in my neck and i thought maybe it's poison or something so i came here they just uh, inspect my place and uh, said nothing serious so it uh, cost me 500 about uh, 10 dollars and the third time i was here with my uh, wound because i cut my leg and it was really deep they made me an injection of uh, titanium yeah tetanus shot yeah it cost me 1500 for buy this uh, injection another 1000 to do this injection so it's already 2500 and i had with me only 4000 so to make stitches yeah uh, they asked me additional four or five thousand and i hadn't uh, this money with me it was night so i asked what i should do because it's a night uh, maybe i can pay gcash here it's a popular uh, system of uh, internet paying yeah uh, but they say it's not a lot to pay gcash at night so you just can can come tomorrow yeah <laughs> i was blooding so 
Yeah, it was not good experience last time, but uh, yeah, uh, you should take money with you and cash uh, to be sure that you will have set all uh, uh, help you need. Yeah. Can you tell me about the gym prices? Yes, our uh, monthly payment is 1,400. We have daily also for non-student is 250. Oh, so they got some free weights here. Yeah, and they have aircon. Do you feel? Aircon. Yeah, it's not so hot. Yeah, that's one of the nice things is air conditioning in a gym. Not all of them have that. We got another machine here. And some multi-use machines. Okay, where are we now? Uh, we in a crispy king, and you know, Jim, um, Filipinos can cook chicken in a millions of ways. So here you can uh, eat really juicy chicken. Yeah, it's really yummy. Only 50 pesos, one piece of chicken, like uh, leg uh, uh, or chest. So 50 pesos, you get a piece of chicken and rice, correct? Yep. Uh, here's a place where you can uh, play pool, drink uh, beer or cocktail and also eat. And it's got not so much, so let's check it out. Let's look at some of the prices here. What are the beer prices? A Pilsen, 75 pesos. Red Horse, 75. Yeah, yeah it's almost the same price. Henneken, 99. Where else uh, in the uh, US you can find a shot for a shot? less than a dollar? Less than a dollar yeah. for a shot. Yeah. Pizza, under 300 pesos. Yeah, sometimes I took this one for 200 pesos. And it's re really spicy but yummy. Yeah. Uh huh. Let's check out their pool. Mm. Hey, they got darts here. All right. So we got darts and here's the pool we're here in the day right now so there's not people here but at night this place gets full and a great place to play pool and how much does it cost yeah, it's Ooh, only 120 per hour. per hour two dollars per hour about two dollars per hour all right where are we at alex uh we are at uh, robinson's mall and now we go in to the second floor i know cheap place where you can uh, order uh, they call it student meal. They have uh, four or five uh, different types of student meal. But here they've got student meals right there. You can get rice, chop suey, iced tea, plus an entree and uh, pretty reasonable prices. Well, 110 pesos. Yeah, it's chicken, rice, soup, beef soup, noodles, uh, small pieces of meat. Mm -hmm. Salamat. What are the prices here, Alex? Uh, here is uh, about 300 pesos uh, per each movie. So uh, they have three different type uh, of uh, movies mm -hmm. uh, here. Yeah, and it's only one cinema in Dumaguete. Okay. Yeah. All right, this is my favorite immigration office here in the Philippines. They take your form, help you fill it out or fill it out for you. I've never waited here and they're very polite. So I always come here for my immigration okay. whenever possible. <laughs> if you would like to meet up with foreigners, Ground Zero Restaurant is the place to go. In the mornings, expats and retirees often gather here for breakfast, coffee, and conversation. As the day cools off and the sun goes down, Roselle Boulevard is where you'll find stunning sunsets, various restaurants, and a lively atmosphere, making it a favorite destination for both locals and visitors. Yeah, it's a nice public area where people hanging out just every day, have here concerts like uh, Zumba. It's a great place right now. The sun's just gone down yeah. and everybody starts coming out. They start the sports activities. You said you play basketball, right? Yeah, yeah, a couple of times. Some Filipino guys just asked, hey, hello. I said, hello. And uh, they said, like, uh, come play okay. with us. You can see it's a really nice place to hang out. There's the walk this way that goes a, a long ways. So you can just get some exercise. Food vendors all over here. You can see the volleyball right here. Um, they do the exercise classes at times, the so martial arts. 
you know, over here. Those activities are all free. Go do yeah. the Zumba, go, go do the Karate. Don't be shy, just join. So here's massage. So 160 yeah. pesos for an hour massage. Yeah, and full body. So it's only three, yeah, three dollars. Three dollars, yeah. Alex, you told me that you've done an average for six months. Yeah. So what is a six month average cost that you've spent? Yeah, I calculated all my spends. It's a visa, $35. It's average for everyone. It's a tourist type of visa. Phone, uh, mostly I use data, not using like uh, calling and texting, only data. It's uh, $6.5 uh, per month. Home internet, I had uh, Wi-Fi in my uh, apartments. Uh, rent, it was $236 uh, dollars, and it was a uh, nice apartment with good view, uh, one bedroom and one small room with kitchen, with security, yeah, with Wi-Fi, so really good place. For transport, so it's average, $41 per each month with uh, your own bike. It's uh, 8,500 kilometers and five times uh, change oil. Uh, my bike cost uh, $2,000, new Honda Airblade. Food, uh, $15 I spent uh, buying uh, like uh, grocery stores because I don't cook at home, I mostly eat outside somewhere. All places I can eat or drink, so it's everything outside, $131. Bar, mostly I just, uh, maybe I can uh, go to the bar maybe once a week and uh, take there one, maybe two beers at most. So it's only $15. Uh, entertainment, it's like a pool, it's like going somewhere, maybe entrance fee, uh, $20 per month. Cold drinks uh, and ice creams uh, during the day, just for um, keep cold, yeah. Uh, $25 per month. Fruits, uh, mostly it was rambutan, pineapples and uh, yellow mango, uh, $21 uh, per month. Laundry, $5 per month, yeah. Uh, car wash uh, two dollars per month because mostly it's a good weather so yeah. one time in the two weeks it's enough parking uh, it's about five dollars everywhere i pay about five ten twenty pesos depends of uh, you know where i park my bike and that's usually just somebody who you're kind of helping out and they keep an eye on your bike yeah, yeah. and they it. cover my bike with uh, carton to keep it not so hot uh, watching for my helmet because it's expensive so yeah i think it's worth it mm -hmm. yeah clothes uh, 15 dollars per month it's enough for me i'm not buying like different type of clothes like uh, for cold weather and hot weather i only buy t-shirts and shorts it's enough. slippers yeah uh, and other other about 90 dollars a different type of what i need to buy like maybe i broke something in my bike i need to replace i don't know small scratches so it's every time something new but uh, 100 dollars for me it's enough so in total i have 688.5 dollars per month here and if you want to live in a comfort probably it will be from maybe 900 maybe thousand dollars yeah per month Honestly, cost of living in the Philippines is very, very cheap to compare with here in the United Kingdom. Most of the things there is less than five pounds. Oh my God. Guys, I'm going to be stopping here for today. Let me know what you think about this video in the comment section. See you all on my next one. Bye.